This is one of my favorite places and I am so blessed to visit this place every week. Everybody, welcome back to Featured by Frenchie. I am here today with Miss Sandy. Miss Sandy, what heavenly place are we at today? Oh, thank you, Bree. We are at the Loft Creative Play Studio and I love having you here as well. Thank you. And your family, <laughs> you're a blessing to me. Well, the Loft Creative mm -hmm. Studio, give us a little background. You have more than just an art teacher yes. craft to you. <laughs> I'm actually not an art teacher, but I taught preschool and pre-K for 16 years here in Pittsburgh. And uh, my teaching partner and myself really believed that the children learn best through sensory play and making choices and colorful things. So we decided to launch these creative camps. Okay. We rented out space in our school. Oh, wow. um, and we had tons of people come. The children loved it. The parents loved it. And we thought, you know what, we're on to something here. Uh -huh. So we decided to open one ourselves up in Zelenople, um, just to see if it was viable. And it really was. The children just blossomed and they loved it. And we incorporated all the things we think are important about early learning. So that's where we And so now started. you're here in Gibsonia, yeah. the top of Treesdale. We found you through one of your camps that you had in the mm -hmm. summer. Uh, my family has been here at least a year with you, yes. and um, my girls fight over who's coming, <laughs> and, and I love it because this mama does not do mess any more than what we have to, <laughs> and what's the saying is Miss Sandy loves mess. That's uh, the beauty of it. And you have boys and girls in here. I certainly do, yes. I have one class actually during the week that is all boys and one little girl. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they, I mean, they love it just as much as the girls do. What they are love. your age ranges? Uh, 18 months and then all the way up. I do birthday parties for all ages. I have classes and camps in the summer where maybe eight and nine year olds come. So there's really no limit. I love that you do themes as well. So every yes. week, uh, my youngest comes to a weekly class, mm -hmm. not just a camp, but the weekly class and you have a theme. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little idea how you come up with those. Well, um, we always themed our things in preschool and pre-K. The kids seem to relate more, um, enjoy it more when they can kind of visualize and, and, and have a theme. So I just pick something each week that I think the kids would be interested in and then we go from there. Okay, I want to show and feature some of the sure. specifics that you have here. Sure. Sandy, the thing for me that I think I've enjoyed the most is that the kids run the show in a way, mm -hmm. but it's all their play their way right so this is definitely my child's favorite and you say something that all the kids are popular with absolutely and sensory play is what I, we base this whole thing around we feel it's so important for the development of young children and as you see the kids love to come over they love the feel of it they love the sound of it there's great conversation between the children um, they learn a lot of things without even knowing they're learning a lot of things when they're here so we theme this each week with what we're what we're doing and they love it right and I, I mean the textures you come up with are amazing to me so this is just rice that you that color we, right, that we colored and then the theme of the week so this is I'm assuming spring is spring right so we have you know bugs and magnifying glasses and little tweezers we always work in fine motor with the sensory because that's also very important for them so there's scooping there's pouring there's you know little tweezers there's all kinds of things where they're working their fine motor without even knowing it so it's learn by play or it play is, by learn, it however. It's creative play, absolutely. And absolutely. they do, they they are able to express themselves without they realizing they're learning. They are, and you have witnessed them. Oh the, my. The, talking yes. amongst themselves and to the moms, and it's just, it's it's wonderful to watch. I enjoy that. It really so is. give us a quick rundown on how the class would run. Okay. All right, well, when you come in in the morning, when the children come in in the morning, they come back here to our playroom, we call it. And we have the sensory set up, they can play in that, they can play with any of the toys that I have set out that day. We always have something very generic at the easel where they can, um, usually there's paint sticks or markers, they can do whatever they want there or that's kind of directed sometimes. This table is usually a fine motor table. Um, you see here I just have dry erase boards and markers and chalk paper and chalk and some little fine motor things there. Always choices for them. They can make their own choices. We have the kitchen, the dollhouse. So it's all imaginary play in this room. Then we will eventually, I'll say it's time for art, and then we go into the other room and we sit at the table and work on an art project together, come back in and play, and then usually go and do a second art project before the end of the day. Okay, the last thing I'd love to finish up with is what do you offer beyond a weekly class? I mentioned we got involved with a camp, mm -hmm. um, but you have weekly classes, camps, 
I have I offer birthday parties here. We actually do a lot of birthday parties that are a lot of fun. Um, we theme them after whatever the birthday child would like. We do camps. We do date nights um, once a month on a Saturday evening where I'll keep the kids for a couple hours. You can go out and have dinner or whatever, and we do something really fun. That's sort of like one of my favorites. Um, I'll do open studios every once in a while where you can just drop in and, and do some process art. It's nothing planned. So I just try to incorporate new things as I go along. We're doing some mommy and me things for Mother's Day. You're coming to one. I'll be at that one. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, it just evolves. Sure. As people mention, I'd like to do this, I put that in. And then if the kids can't make it or... I guess I, I say I want to finish up, but I have one more thing I'd like to mention. So mm -hmm. you actually teamed up with a food bank and mm -hmm. sent, ses, in a, essence, a sensory bin home for these kids. Yes. So that's something also you can purchase if you're right. familiar with the studio. But right. give us a, a quick second on what those are. Well, um, I do put together, usually once a month, a themed sensory bin, just because I think it's so important for the kids. I know how much they love it, that you can take it home, keep the bin, refill it, whatever. This particular month, I'm donating all the proceeds to um, a, a, a outreach place, <laughs> yes, I couldn't remember, in Wilkinsburg, actually, where they are asking for things for kids. They don't have anything for kids and we did all the art crafts before. We sent a big huge box of art crafts and they were in heaven they said. So that's what we're doing this month. But each month I do offer those. I love that. Yeah. Well I love what I do. I absolutely adore and love the Creative Loft Studio. I know that you will too. Keep watching. Check Miss Sandy out on all the social media platforms and her website and get in touch and get in because I take up a lot of the classes. So <laughs> thank you, Marie, so much. Thank Absolutely. You.